man, you got real hood right there. Um, Dude, it's Captain Toad, are you kidding me? Captain Toad is dope, and I figured I'd show off some of uh, some of the levels we've done so far. It Okay, so... I, I, this game is really weird in the fact that like it became like a full retail release. And, oh, like, yeah. well, I mean, it's still sold fairly cheap. Uh, it's, I mean, it, it's like, what, $40? Like, it came out for 30, at 40 40 at least. Yeah. Um, God damn, is this game just adorable. Um, right, so... It's too cute. I can't handle it. So, if anybody has ever played Super Mario 3D World in any way, um, there were certain mini-game levels uh, based around Captain Toad, where you would uh, essentially go around an isometric level very much like this, except it was way more simplistic than this. Yeah. And uh, you would essentially try to collect all the uh, green stars that you could, much like uh, Super Mario World 3D, uh, beat it, and then, you know, get what you needed so that way you can tra move forward. People love the goddamn Captain Toad uh, level so much yes. that Nintendo... Uh, being the fucking visionaries that they are, they're just like, hey, let's just, what if we just made this a game? Just its own game. See, and now, now I thought, I thought that they were just showing them off as like a preview for this game. I didn't know that they actually made it because everybody wanted more. Yeah, everybody just wanted more. This game came after Super Mario 3D World. I and knew that, but I just thought it was like a, like, hey, here are some of these like Captain Toad levels because we're making a Captain Toad game. So, figure we'd just show off a little bit right there. Uh, much like if you're if you're not familiar with Captain Toad, he, he's a little shit ass who can't jump. So, um, oh, do it. No, Aww. wait, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. So there are times where you get like little bonus modes as well. Better piss, pick the pickaxe. Uh, better. I get the mushroom. But I like the cherries. No. So we're going with the cherries. Yeah. This is fun. How do you not like? How do you like <laughs> the pickaxe? I like, pickaxe I more? like the pickaxe. Look at that. Look at dude. Look at all that I just love the multiple. Like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I was always a fan of the cherry power up from Super Mario World 3D. Um, oh, yeah. but aside from collecting all the gems as well in terms of completion. Uh, there's also little mini objectives. Uh, as you can see, I didn't complete that one because it's fucking hard. It's super hard. Um, oh my god. I'm sorry. That is the most adorable Toad has ever sounded uh, oh, yeah. in, in modern day, by the way. Normally he's just like, oh, okay! Yeah, this one just like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me clear out some of the razor blades in my throat and uh, sound adorable. So, uh, you get. Complete and total control over the camera to rotate the stage, and there are certain areas that require you to actually inspect or examine uh, different angles or perspectives of the stage, so that way you can see either what you're affecting uh, or what you're doing. So right now, we're gonna go ahead nice. and uh, aim over there. Now you guys don't realize I am uh, currently using the gamepad screen to aim how I'm doing. So, you get a first person perspective on the second screen. There hasn't been a lot of uh, Wii U games to uh, really sadly use the fucking uh, second screen on the gamepad screen. A lot of it has lately just been like... Items. Yeah, items are really lazy like mini-map of sorts. Um, like but Xenoblade. Yes. Was especially uh, disappointing, but I'm sorry, Katie. Go on. Aww, I'm just sad to hear because I've been actually wanting to go pick that one up. No, 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 no. The game is amazing. I'm okay. talking about their use of the the second screen. So, for example, right there, I was able to see. Oh, there's a nice little hidden passageway. I go here, and I end up on the bottom end of this stage. You wouldn't be able to see that normally. So. No. So, I was able to get all of the uh, all of the diamonds and now I can go ahead and go back to get the star. I don't remember what the meta objective for this fucking level was. Uh, it was to use the, the cannon only once. Really? Yeah. That was dumb. I got it. You suck. I'm just gonna have to go back, I guess. <laughs> Fuck um, it. 
But the one point I wanted to add with you talking about the controls for this, and the one thing that I don't like about this game is you don't have the option to turn off the movement of the gamepad. The gyroscope. I like, yeah, I don't, I don't like it because I like using the little like. Um, I like using the controller, the analog the stick, right stick on the right. Yeah, I like using that to turn the camera around because I like staying stationary. I don't want to move that shit around. Like the, I had you fun know, with the Nintendo Wii, but now it's like okay, no. <laughs> I you know I don't mind the gyroscoping. I think maybe once you configure it and and get it to acclimate like like the the, the the sort of position that would best work for you. It's not so bad. I, I liked it. The only time I did enjoy that was whenever you go into the, the carts and you're actually going around and like aiming and shooting at the money and all of that kind of stuff. That, I found it really nice. But for the most part, like I just want to hold the controller. No! Get away! He's, you in the He's not even a threatening cover. cover. Like, look at your color. Periwinkle, get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> the hell when Yo, since when is there a Chris. periwinkle shy guy get out of here <laughs> with that shit since captain toad did you not just see it oh oh okay. blow <laughs> it's telling you that you blow oh uh, this is wait how do i make it go down it goes down oh okay good <laughs> but i need to go back up okay great but i i needed i didn't need it to go back up all the way though so great okay good Damn, this fucking Rubik's Cube of a stage. But see, this is this is Captain Code at its best though. So raising certain levels of platforms. Yeah, I Oh man, I need that. That's great. Yeah, definitely enjoy the fact that they implemented uh You're not gonna Mario get the mechanics. money? What's wrong with you? Dude, I will get the money as soon as I I have priorities here. It's shit I that I need to do. What? Um, yeah, there, there, there are certain, uh, head scratchers. This one, not necessarily so much. There's just a lot of blind nooks and crannies, and I feel like the game kind of relies on that a little too much. Um, oh god, just get away! Yeah, that scares me way more than anything else in this game. Especially because, like, every time I try to go up the stairs, the controls change, depending on, like, what angle you're looking at it from. So I always get hit on the friggin' stairs. And see, like, I know that the the third one's down there. I can see the third one is down there. However, I'm trying to. So see, there's a lot of this blind shit going yeah, on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Grab this, and then like that dude. How the fuck do I get to that dude? That dude, I'm pretty sure is important. I don't know how to get to him. <laughs> so fuck it. We're moving on. And oh. Go just keep blowing. I'm trying to get to the star. This shit, it's, it's so. You have to go. Uh, I got this. Hold on. No. Wow. <laughs> no, where are you going? Wait. I'm doing things. Oh my god. Like exploring. This is me like trying to watch a YouTube video all the time. Whatever they're doing, like commentary and they're like yeah i don't know where i'm going i'm just like go left wait just hold on I got this. see check this out bam all right Fine. feel me you feel me on that look at that oh but now oh, you no. oh no oh no oh this is bad <laughs> look they just like wobble at you with their arms out just like what up what up oh god oh no the other one tripped it was great or he fell asleep oh okay he fell, he fell asleep, asleep. Great. Ah! Nice. Oh. Okay. So ladder. Nah, fuck it. Let's go. This what are you doing? No. Georgie! Right. Hold on! I'm being a captain! <laughs> There's I just fuck it! I really want to know how to get to that toad. You already screwed it up. I I don't believe you. Yes, you did. You had to do it before you you Got the platform to go up. Did I know? Yeah. Well, shit. <laughs> he gives you a, uh, a one-up mushroom, I think. Oh, well, fuck him. Yeah. Yeah. We, 
call that, uh, in the business, we call that useless. Just stupid. Dude, I can't tell you how many times, like, I didn't realize where the edge of a stage was, and then I would just fall off. So that, that actually is not all that useless. Well, I mean, for all your shit talking, I sure haven't died yet, now have I? Alright, there's nothing left to do, fuck it. Like, let's go up this ladder now. Yeah, there's at some points too that like the the control does get a little wonky when you're you're switching around perspectives and then like you just constantly find yourself going up and down a ladder. Yeah, yeah. Look at that! Look at what I did! I got that. Okay. Fine. I mean, it took you long enough. Whatever. Oh, See, that, you didn't God collect damn the it! That was mushroom. the meta objective. Whatever. I'll get it later. It's dumb. I'll get it later. You're dumb. All right. Drop road dash. So. At some point, I, I'm really curious to ask, uh, how do you feel about the boss fights in this game? Eh. I'm, yeah. They're not, they don't, they're not like, oh my god, super hard, but they're not like, fantastic or anything. They're just, they're there, and I feel like they fit perfect with what you're trying to do in the game. And I mean, you can't jump, so they had to figure out exactly, okay, how can we make this a boss fight and not make everyone hate us? Well, I mean, there are certain moments where it gets, like, uh, I, I feel like there there are times where there, there's a lot of running or there there's, like, just so many fucking sidesteps and chores and processes to be uh, put into place before you even... Because I'm, I'm trying to remember, like, the first boss is fairly easy. It's, oh, it was super easy. Yeah, it's just, oh, oh, oh no. Nice. Uh, to be honest... I hate this fucking level. This is the only level that I outright just fucking hate. Um, Fuck I didn't even notice, but that was a that was a toad with like the, the skulls. Like Dio's so smart. Oh, fuck this! <laughs> Look at that. That's super ominous. I've never seen that toad skull before. Oh, you never seen? You didn't notice that? I just noticed that. To be honest, I don't. Yeah. Dude, I tune out when I die. I'm normally not one to die, so super bums me out when I have to get hit or inch around. Uh, oh man. I so I don't I don't remember too and like I picked up the toad amiibo, but I forget what the amiibos do in this game as well. I don't know. I don't open my amiibos unless I have a double. Yeah, I, I'm always curious to see if uh, Nintendo, like, has, has picked, like, I was really curious to see if Nintendo kind of picked up on, like, what Yacht Club did with the Shovel Knight amiibo and see if they'll do that with future amiibos going forward. But it doesn't look like they have because everybody's already telling me that, like, yeah, uh, Wolf Link nope. and Mina, they've got the magnetic strip. Yep. I tried. In vain. Well, yeah, I was so upset. I, I FaceTimed you. I was like, Georgie, it's in a friggin' box! I was so excited to use it and, like, go to the extra dungeon and shit. Fucking box. Box is cool, though. Oh, I was supposed to throw the vegetable! God damn it! Well... <laughs> okay. I think... I think we know what needs Dead. to happen here. I... That's why you need extra lives. That's why they're important. Whatever, I made an executive when you decision. Fuck up. Um, I want to say that I was learning. A fuck mm -hmm. up, yeah. Fuck up would imply that I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing, but sometimes I need to do it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> then, then like you know, I'm good. Then, then everything is good. Um. Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of sad to me that, like, this game, like, I, I, I highly doubt that this game will get a sequel oh, of any kind, but. <laughs> Alright, great. Cool. So you see what I'm talking about now? Yeah, but whatever. I mean, the game gives you plenty of advances and, like, resources to do what you need to do. Oh, shit, dude. You see that? We that in the biz dope. like to call it MLG. That was pretty but, MLG. Yeah, yeah. I could never be that awesome. Well, um, hang tight, Katie. Before you know it, I'm going to start speedrunning Captain Toad real here, like, real quick, real soon. And then, oh, look. Yeah. Then, then, my friend, we shall see. Just, damn it. 
Oh, oh god damn it! <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm fairly certain that you have to throw a vegetable at that. But, pretty important to get this out of the way. Get this life right here. Alright, fuck the diamond. We're just going for it. Oh, oh, oh! Nice! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. shit! Nice! Yeah, there we go. We'll get the start. So yeah, Captain Code, Treasure Tracker. It's a fun little puzzle game. Easy little fun distraction. I would love to see this thing on the 3DS, to be honest. Like, this is a... Yeah. This is the perfect type of game to expect on the 3DS and not so much the Wii U. But I do enjoy what they've done with it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below or, you know, fucking whatever. Until then, Captain Toad. This latest Play Play video from Press Pause Radio was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at www.audibletrial.com slash radio, and you can get access to over 100,000 titles to choose from from your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player.